Every year, there's kind of like a tradition in the rap industry where the channel XXL collects the newest and rising rappers of the year and promotes them through their annual, uh, magazine. Who the fuck reads a magazine still? Uh, they could also rap if they even want. Stay on the defense. I could write a book the way y'all hoes tried to read me. I'm on chapter D and y'all still on the pretense. How? Black bitch eons ahead of y'all. <laughs> Now this is what rap is all about. Double XL also does something called a cypher, which are videos of the rappers showing their skills on a single beat, sounding like a long song with a bunch of features. Ever since 2011, when their first cypher came out, this was something amazing that people would look forward for annually. Not anymore, though. 2011, they had some big names in this cypher. Kendrick Lamar enlightened us with his poetry as always. Mac Miller started to reach the peak of his career. Meek Mill with his Philadelphia flair. Big Crit, YG, you got some rappers on this list. And this is a very good start to this tradition. 2012, Danny Brown, crazy as usual. Former rapper, now rock star, Machine Gun Kelly showed us that he wasn't that bad. And Hobson, giving us one of the best cyphers still to this day. But this year started to show signs of the problems in cyphers to come. Future, mumbling off beat. Macklemore, looking like a kid at an adult's table. And Iggy Azalea is just fucking terrible. What you smelling on me is me getting to the money. Going green, flexing on them, feeling like Bumby. Everybody on my dick, they want to ride my pony on my own down. Don't need no one to sponsor me. Small bitches know you never eat a lunch. It's you gassed up off it. Don't know the cost of it. Got my name on it. Wait, I conquer. What the fuck was that? 2013. This was a rare year of greatness. Action Bronson giving us his signature vibrant sound. Six spinning. I stay shitting like a sick pigeon. Different colors glistening off the wrist prism. Travis Scott showed us that he doesn't need auto tune. Can't rock in the rubble, yo, with no pass. Fuck up the flow, nothing but fam, cause niggas be hoes. Logic showing us that white boys sometimes can rap. Smacking suckers like mosquitoes, dispersing verses like a free throw. The token woman this year was great with Angel Hayes. Hayes had a jaw dropped in the same position for three days. School Boy Q made me want some collard greens. Everyone was fantastic this year. This is the new benchmark. 2014, the year of singing. Ty Dolla Sign gave us some clean melodies. August Alsina creating the first and only chorus in a cipher. And Troy Ave giving his smooth lyrics. As a cipher though, it was weak. But every rapper looked like they were actually having fun, either by rapping or through hyping their peers up. Overall enjoyment for the viewers and performers, and I loved how there was no women. 2015, uh, not as good. Fetty Wap was begging for some autotune. Def Loaf made me go to sleep. When they told me I couldn't do it, man, I went out and did it, I didn't. Stop now. Uh, Rari kept changing his flow too much and it was confusing. <coughs> However, Vince Staples and Tink was pretty good, and Golink surprised me with his performance. Overall, though, this was weak. Um, very disappointing. I need to see some improvement next year, Double X7. Oh my god! Is it? Oh my god! 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 2016. This was the year of perfection. Everybody was extremely entertaining. Anderson Pac showed he's a rapper by heart. Lil Dicky wasn't corny. Dave East and G Herbo made a hot and cold old school, new school vibe that was very sweet. And Designer was laughably entertaining. You be trying like you want you can get it. Got me young boys hanging off the roof. Hey. But entertaining nonetheless. And then he got this video. The magnum opus of Double XL Cyphers, the video that only has high praise and other cyphers strive to be. The video starts with Denzel Curry already hitting us with an amazing intro, and for reference, the only song I knew from this guy during the time was Ultimate, the water bottle flip song. So listening to this gave me a whole new perspective on this guy, making him one of my favorites today. Then Lil Uzi Vert comes out, confronting his copycat, saying if he could have his flow back. All these niggas still in my style, can I get my flow back? You already know the answer is no, why would you ask? Lil Yachty's next, given his deep mumble rap style that definitely hits on this cypher. 21 Savage then delivers one of the best and impressively long freestyles that never quits in making bar after bar sounding like a fleshed out song, complimented by Yachty and Uzi with the ad libs. Put up on your bitch, you suck my dick and then you kiss the twin. Then Kodak Black has a well done closer, cleverly asking the audience, Who the fuck picked this little sorry ass beat? Granted, I don't think the beat was that bad, but I like that fourth wall break, Kodak. With all these acclaimed rap rappers in a single video, of course it will make it one of the greatest cyphers, making this the new benchmark. So, could it get better from here? 
Absolutely not. 2017. Same shit a little worse. Kyle, Boogie, and Amine wasn't terrible, but everybody else was really just average. Playboy was Playboy, Ugly God's bars were just ugly, and Cab G stole the 21 cypher. Roll it all on my wrist. Roll it all on my bitch. Roll it on my wrist. Roll it on my bitch. The only thing remotely creative was XXXTentacion's verse he did with no beat, which was just a little creepy, but at least it was something new. And if the world ever has an apocalypse, I will kill all of you fuckers. Fear will be plentiful, death will be bountiful, I will spend none of you peasants. Fuck your religion, your pastor, fuck his and got sent to a prison in PC. I seen the devil, he's in you with me, you need saving to listen to this, see? Uh, fuck that, I'm out of here. 2018. JID killed it. Steflon Don killed it. Ski Mask did that no beat thing X did last year and made it his own and killed it. And everybody else got killed. Lil Pump and Smoke Perp did just about as good as I thought they would. Wi Fi Funeral is terrible. YB and Namir did a little better than this. And Black Boy had so much reverb for some reason. But at least the energy is quite high. We're starting to see a pattern going on every year. 2019. Real big names like last year with real big hits and real big flaps. Blueface was stupid. Why Kira Cyrus forgot this wasn't the worth it beat. He he worth it, but say he worth it. And Lil Mosey was the man or something. Damn, I feel like the man. Freshman of the year, I woke up like the man. He also tried to do that lame ass beat thing Kodak said. This a lame ass beat. Shameful. But redemption. Rico Nasty gave us an outstanding performance with so much energy. The baby showed us that he was the best new mainstream rapper that year. Megan the Stallion's flow was off the rail. YBN Corday gave a smooth beat change to some old school shit. And Gunna said, I don't want to do the cypher and dropped out, which is actually kind of a trend that's been going on too. 2018 it was trippy red. And for years to come, multiple people would turn down the offer. Cause if you don't do well, you don't get clown. 2020. This year was very average, nothing special. Everyone was just sounding like their own normal songs. Some highlights were Mulatto and 24K that did pretty well. Polo G had the best no beat cypher to date, but other than that, it was very bland. It just needed a little bit more energy, some spice. Very forgettable. 2021. When I thought it couldn't get any more boring, it did. The 2021 cypher made me bored of rap with the lack of energy in all the cyphers. The only ones that I moderately enjoyed were DDG, Ruby Rose, and maybe Blast, but other than that, no. Ah! Flo Millie kept talking about a vagina and it was kind of disgusting. Gross. And Tusi kept moaning for some reason. You didn't show me how to uh, where to put my uh at when you arch it. Yeah. And Koi Leroy was. Terrible. 2022, you better bring something good. And now we're in 2022. And this year was just as worse as the previous years because of all these. TikTok rappers. Casey's execution was off. It was hard to ride with Dochi's flow. So Fago did a freestyle off the head, and you can fucking tell. I saw my wrist in his busting. Whoa. Saucy Santana kept talking about how much of a bad bitch he is, like I've never heard that in a rap song before. Cali, man. Big Scar fan said that it wasn't his type of beat, but that's not an excuse because there have been beat changes and no beats and ciphers before. Big 30 was average. Babyface Ray's was overrated. Nardo Wick sounded like he just woke up. Disregarding any of what the comments say, I still think Baby Trons was a little weak. This is a rapper known to rap on multiple different beats, so putting him on no beat is like suicide. Coaches, the one I had high hopes for, man, and had a really good freestyle had the worst cypher out of all of them just constantly saying okay okay she pull up in my okay okay i'm wearing some socks stay brown okay you shut it she look at she round okay okay i pull up i'm on enough okay okay shut up now i really wouldn't say this is the worst cypher out of any year but this was definitely the most boring and disappointing cypher out of all the only cypher that i thought was genuinely good was ken the man's how man this is why Yeet did the minions movie over y'all as you can see, we are starting to see a trend here with better rappers turning down XXL and worse replacements taking their place. And this does partially have to do with TikTok promoting overall bad music because even though most of these rappers have some hits, they are not consistent. It's hard to tell if they would last in the long run because their catalog isn't fleshed out or creative enough. Sadly, XXL only wants to look in this direction of whatever is mainstream at the time, ignoring other corners of the rap industry like industrial rap, gangster rap, abstract rap, hyper pop. I'm 
mean, there's literally countless. The last time there was anyone really different was maybe Danny Brown, Denzel, Corday. I don't know. The change is never drastic enough. So that's why these recent years have been sounding all the same and boring because we haven't heard anything truly different and exciting, man. Double XL next year, 2023. I want something new. I'm thinking uh, more underground, maybe like uh, Drake.